Good morning. I just wanted to talk quick about a topic that's important to me. Something I talk about a lot. Um, and that is your relationship with money. How it affects you. How important it is to you. Uh, why is your relationship that you have with money important? And your mindset towards money. How you make it is important. I think it's a topic that... Um, we try to avoid a lot because I definitely tried to avoid it for a really long time. Uh, and I knew that as long as I was avoiding how money was being, how I was handling money and how I was dealing with it, as long as I ignored it, nothing was going to change. And I knew that change was definitely, definitely necessary. For those of you that don't know, I talk a lot about um, a situation that I just went through recently about a year ago. Um, really, uh, really, really, really rough time in my life, and I'm so thankful and grateful for that time because it was it was really important that I went through that because if I hadn't gone through it, I probably wouldn't have changed my relationship with the way I was making money and the relationship and the mindset that I have about money. It's uncomfortable to talk about finances because you could be embarrassed about a lot of things. You could be embarrassed about how much debt you may be in or how you may be managing your um, your bills or if you pay things on time or just anything. It could be a really rough and difficult situation and topic to talk about. It was really difficult to talk. I, I, I didn't talk about it. I ignored it. I ignored it. I didn't talk about it. I didn't let it come to the surface. Um, and because I didn't talk about it, it was it, it wasn't changing. And the moment that I just surrendered and just said, I am done with this. I am done ignoring it. I am done. Things changed for me. Um, I was done fighting that same old battle. I was done talking about escaping the rat race, but not really escaping it. I was just talk going to all these seminars and reading all these books, of course. I still have, and I still... Um, believe in reading books and all that but you know still just not making the change just not make not putting no action behind what was necessary in order to see a change i was just doing what i was told and what i was told is basically what i'm pretty sure everybody else is told you know you gotta go to work um when you start working go to work work hard um climb the corporate ladder the more money you make an hour, the better, you know, and that goes to say why I have so many jobs because every time an opportunity would present itself where I would make more money an hour, I was on it, you know, and I, do, I did a really good job at all my jobs that it was not a problem for me to find another job. It's never been an issue for me to find a well-paying job. Um, so I was excited and I was happy off of that. Like, yeah, okay, I'll go from $7 minimum wage, then $9, oh, I'm on it, okay, $10, we going up 11 okay 15 19 20 22 i'm just i'm keep going i kept going and um i felt like the more money i made an hour the better off i would be then that meant that meant that i was escaping this rat race that i i was in that means that i'm making more money and yes i was making more money why was i still broke why did i still not have no money I couldn't understand it for now. I'm doing what I was told. I've been working since 15, 16 years old. Then always been working, never been out of work since then. Um, so I'm not understanding why, what's going on. Like I get paid, you know, some a lot of jobs every two weeks. But then that didn't work for me. I need, I gotta at least get paid every two, every week at this point. Like, it's I don't understand why I still don't have no money. And I'm, I'm working, you know. And when I say not have no money, I mean, I'm paying all my bills, of course. And I don't got nothing left after that. I don't got no money to myself after that. I got like a couple dollars, maybe $50, $60 a check. Maybe 100 sometimes, you know, if something go well and whatever. You know, I'm just... <laughs> I don't have no money still. I don't understand that. That don't, it, It's not making sense to me. What um what what um what else are you supposed to do when you're doing everything you were told to do? You know, what what do you do after that? 
I'm making the most money I possibly can make an hour at this point. You know, I'm working as many hours as I possibly can at this point. And I still don't have no money. I have to escape this. This is not working. Um, and then that that's when it hit me when I lost everything. It just didn't make sense. I've been working so hard. I've always had a job. And then I lose everything. And then I have zero dollars coming in. Now I'm looking for change in my car. Now I'm just trying to figure out where my next that where what next job can I jump on so I can get money going coming back in. And the only reason why I couldn't save my situation that I was in when I was facing an eviction was because when I got the um, when I finally did get the job, I wasn't getting paid for two more weeks. And I got an eviction saying I gotta get out in three days. So how is that gonna help me? I didn't understand. I had everything had to change. And I'm so thankful that I went through that situation. My mind shifted on how money works. Now, we work so hard for money. We get up and work so hard for our money. We go and get paid hourly, and we put in all these hours, 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day. I will pick up 10 to 12-hour shifts, whatever the case is, doing OT, time and a half, whatever has to be done, and working so hard and to still be in that same type of situation. It's not fair. Um, losing everything made me focus on what what was wrong, and everything was wrong. And I was done trying to fight and cover it up. And it's coming. I'm about to bring it to the surface because we about to we about to tackle this thing. I'm not about to keep running from my life. I can't run from myself. And that's exactly what I was doing. I was felt like I was constantly running from my own self, running from my own finances, running from zero. And something had to change. And I tell people all the time that you have to understand that it is okay to be an employee. And that's never what. So I always I am always transparent. I'm always open about. Uh, my situation because I think it's important because I think a lot of times we see a lot of things on social media when things are going really well we see um, other people doing great things and this this and that and so I think it's important for sometimes people to post um, transparency and to post the struggle and that's why I do that because you can't understand how to build from zero if you are seeing or reading about somebody starting at starting at chapter 19 and you at chapter one just getting started how do you start where do you start from you know and so i i can't tell you i was in a negative you know what i mean looking for change in the car I'm, i got everybody all every bill collector on the planet calling me that's that's negative to me so i knew that um, the way i understood money my entire life was wrong. I knew that everything that was told about, that was taught to me about the way money worked was wrong. Um, I'm saying that to say that was not, not is there is nothing wrong with being an employee, but you have to understand how to use your money when you get paid. Um, my relationship with money was get paid, pay your bills, and then use the the, the little scraps that you get left over for yourself, and then that end up getting spent on a little extra, little miscellaneous spending. Um, that had to change. I knew that um, once I once you get paid, you pay yourself first. What? Pay yourself first. But the rent is due. But this is due. The electric bill is due. Your phone bill. Whatever expenses that you have is due. If you want to see a change, if you want to change your financial situation, you got to be the first priority. You have to be, you working so hard. You deserve to at least use, get paid, use some of the money to then start working for you. You going to work, you're working for it. Use some of that money to make it work for you. That's the, that is your only way that you are going to free yourself. And then you will, might, you might find out that going to work ain't that bad as you thought it was. It was just the fact that you feel like you working so hard. And then when you finally get paid, you already calculated all, you got your checks already pre-planned months in advance. You know where every dollar is about to go already. You already know you're not about to have no money for months, maybe a years. You already know. You're trying to squeeze in your little extra little hair money in there somewhere. You're trying to... It is important that you change your relationship with money. If you want to stop struggling, if you want to... If you, if you are serious about not struggling no more... Man, you have to change the way you think about it. It is not fair that you struggle the way you do. And the moment that I had to understand that, because I'm, I was okay with bad things happening to me because I was expecting bad things to happen to me. But the moment I, I said, 
this is not the way I want to live. I should have good things happening to me. I work really hard. Good things should happen to me. And it shouldn't be crazy that good things are happening to me. It, it should happen to you if you are a hard worker. I don't want to struggle and I don't want to figure out what my next dollar is. I currently have five different sources of income coming in. And I am currently not trying to figure out constantly. I want dealing dealing with one source of income is really is really hard because when what happens when that one source of income just stopped coming in because that was my situation. Now you at zero. That's not that's no way to live. That's no way to live. There's the fact that I have five sources of income coming in now. And I promise you, they are all online. They are all online. And they I don't even count my widow kiddo or my dreams to my that That's a completely, I don't count that because those are my businesses that I want them to grow organically. I don't use the business money for no personal expenses. A hundred percent of it gets re back reinvested into the business. I don't use expenses for my business. I have five online other sources of income coming in. And most of the time, the money that comes back in is when I'm asleep. That I can't be, That is crazy to me. To go from working all these hours to just make, you know, if you if you had about ten fifteen dollars an hour, you get paid a little bit over a hundred dollars a day for ten to twelve hours a day, and now to go from then getting paid that in your sleep. You couldn't tell me that. That you couldn't tell me that. I knew that it your mindset has to change. And you can start with absolutely nothing. And I will go to my deathbed constantly drilling it in your head, constantly trying to set the example, constantly trying to show y'all over and over and over and over. Because y'all seen that I I'm telling y'all over and over again that I y'all seen that I didn't have nothing. Zero and trying to build nowhere near where I want to be but I'm so okay with that because I love the process more than anything I love this whole entire process learning is my high I say that all the time it's just up to you whether or not you feel like you deserve better it's up to you if you feel like your situation is so out of control your finances are so out of control that you're tired of running from your situation. You're tired of dodging this bill collector and that one. You're tired of living like that. I'm going to keep drilling into your head. Have an amazing day. That was just my quick little spill. I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from. Um... And if you have any questions, you guys already know you already are you are already in my inbox already asking questions, and I love to help. So anything that you guys want to know, um, how to do this, how to do that, if I have the time, of course, if um, I love to respond. So you guys have an amazing day.